Hello YouTube, in this episode from The Edge of Awesome, we'll be reviewing Arrow's mid-season premiere titled Left Behind. If you haven't yet seen the episode, a warning, there will be spoilers. So here are my top five moments from the show. Number five, the first live testing of Adam's suit. Fairly early in the episode, we see Ray Palmer working on a fully formed gauntlet for his future suit. It fails to fire at a couple dummies he has for test targets but it still makes for a very interesting scene before it fails. Number four, more secrets as a Merlin and Thea's training. For some reason, I'm a big fan of where the show is going with Merlin and Thea. The scenes in the mid-season finale where Oliver realizes Thea's training was one of my favorites. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where Thea uh, begins going with this. Is she going to see action down the road even though the two of them are now leaving Starlink City once again. Number three, Diggle and Roy fighting crime as Arrow and Arsenal. Of course, with Oliver presumed dead after taking on the world's best assassin, I expected Diggle to don the Green Arrow uniform again, but I was still thrilled to see him do it, especially since he quickly chooses to leave the leather suit behind in favor of his usual jeans, leather jacket, and gun combo. Roy finally shared a good portion of the dialogue for a change and was a driving force to keeping the group going without Oliver. Number two, Laurel takes out a target as the Black Canary. Throughout the episode, we see Laurel trying a case against a criminal that Diggle and Roy take down early in the show. But when the evidence against him is stolen, he's released. Laurel heads over to Team Arrow just in time to see it falling apart. She then decides to take matters in her own hands, rifling through some of Sarah's old gear. She suits up and goes after the guy who got away. Using the Black Canary's signature sonic attack, she stuns the villain and his friend, then beats him with her staff. I cannot wait to see her fighting with Team Arrow next week in the episode called Midnight City. And number one, Oliver is resurrected. Throughout the backstory in the episode, we learn that his Hong Kong handler, Maceo, who is now in the League of Assassins, holds a major debt with Oliver because Oliver made it possible for him to find his wife, Tatsu, after she was kidnapped by the Triad. So pending Oliver's combat with Roz, Maceo retrieves Oliver from the ravine and drags his body to Tatsu, who was somehow able to revive him in the final moments of the episode. Because the current villain in Starlink City is slated for three episodes, I suspect that Oliver won't make it back until that third final episode. This first one that we saw in the premiere being one where Oliver is presumed dead, the second where we know he's alive but the team still doesn't, and the third one being where he finally returns to the city. This being said, what are your thoughts on Arrow's midseason premiere? Please leave your thoughts below, and of course, please subscribe to see new content, share with your friends, and like this video. I leave you with a promo for next week's Arrow. Thank you for watching. You saved my life. Your concern should be for your home. And what has become of it in your absence? A criminal organization headed by Danny Brickwell has been on a crime spree unlike anything since Al Capone. We need help, we need it now. I know where to find the canary. It is our home that is under attack. No! I guess we're even now. Arrow, all new this Wednesday at 8, 7 central on The CW.